prospect and forecasting techniques. What are the things that we are going to discuss in this one is first of all budgeting concepts. What is a budget? And definition of the budget, how it is developed, what is the different type of budgets generally in the organizations people make. Correlation and regulation, this is statistical word. Correlation means two things, relation of two variables. Means if we want to see how the company is going, we can also, when we talk about comparison, we need two variables at least. We can compare Honda with Toyota. But comparing Honda with itself will not give us some something for analysis. So we need to have a comparison of uh, different things. From this technique, correlation and regression, we will study the dependency of certain factors, relation of two variables for success or failure. Suppose if a company was going very good and suddenly they start dropping the sales. So we are, we are feeling that the market is in the slump. This is one variable, market conditions, and sale is the other variable. So as the market is going down, sale is also going down. So it's a correlation between two variables. Otherwise, there is no correlation. So no need to worry about some businesses even of today in the slump period also, they, they are having high profitability. So means they have no correlation with the slump or recession, something like this. And then learning curve. Learning curve is a word from learn. Learn means as you learn, your efficiency to do the task increases. Suppose, first time when you will study this unit, you will take more time, maybe two hours, three hours, because you might encounter new words, new language, which you are not familiar with. But second time when you will read the same unit, you will be much comfortable. Third time when you will do it, it will take less time. And you can assume that tenth time if you will study the unit, how easy it will become for you. And then you can say that I can finish unit number one in 40 minutes maximum. Means I am teaching since long this units, so I know that this unit will take maybe one hour 30 minutes, one hour 40 minutes. This is based on my learning curve experience. Learning curve says, when you do your work first time, it takes more time. But when you repeat the task, then it takes less time. This concept leads to a concept called specialization. That's why more companies are focusing on the specialized uh, stuff. Even in the finance department, uh, there is a specialized account receivable department, account payable department, then uh, collection, recovery, and uh, finance accounts, or bank reconciliation. This is, this is, these are the people dealing with the bank. So it's a specialization concept which comes from this learning curve. Time series analysis is when we see, we want to see the performance of the company, we have to keep the time in mind. For example, if we start a new project, this project may bring money for you in six years, 10 years, so you cannot expect profitability on the very next day. So you have to see what is the last year figures, this year figures, and the next five year projections, yeah, budgeted figures. This is we have to see. And how we see because of the concept of time series, mm -hmm. and uh, in this we analyze with the timings how the performance of the company is monitored. Expected value is when you see the profit probabilities with the world. Suppose this year 2010, we are expecting $10 million as a sale. But what is the probability that this we will get? Say 50%, 40%, 90%. So this is how we will have expected value, calculating the probability of the, uh, what is the probability is the chance okay. to occur something. And last topic is sensitivity, sensitivity analysis. 
if you want to see the performance of the company you should know what are your sensitive factors which can increase or decrease your profitability for example if it is a hospital there is one doctor who is well recognized for say ENT uh, works so most of the people they start knowing the hospital because of this doctor and then once they came this they, they start becoming loyal to the hospital and they if they want something heart or some other diagnosis they start going to the other doctors so this doctor is a critical doctor for the organization if, you, if this this is a key performance person and if you change this person from the this hospital so what is the sensitivity of your success will your success remain the same or it will go down. down so this is we see in the practical business why people go to McDonald's what is their sensitive points so they can focus on their sensitive point to keep the profitability sales turnovers or in align with their organizational objectives right so this is the summary of what we are going to do well, now we will start one by one budgeting concepts what is a budget budget is a realistic plan for perform for enhancing the performance which enhances the performance of the company for the future uh, projections in qualitative and quantitative terms both right budget helps us as a planning tool you, uh, if, because whatever you want to predict next five years first of all you have to plan yourself what your company will be where you will place yourself what is your success how many number of employees you will continue with what uh, retail stores or commercial sales corporate sales you are going to target so based on all this information budget will be developed budget is not a simple excel sheet which you can say that it is you will open an excel you will start making the budget making the figures is a smaller portion of the budget but the assumption to the budgets based on the market conditions based on the uh, your company policies management policies you will draw different lines for the budget for example if your company want to grow they want to open a new office you are a company in US you want to start a new office in Africa so you you have to fund like you, know, you have to increase your capital investment you have to manage your cash flow so based on an expansion concept your budgeting figures techniques everything will change suppose you are a school in Dubai you want to open Abu Dhabi branch so how you will make the budget surely there are so many uh, sheets with that you will see what campus you will have you need to have in Abu Dhabi what are the minimum requirements for the uh, school how what are the hygiene factor how, what should be the shape of the building how to develop a lab how to develop a library something here you should have enough information based on that information you will start making the budgets next five this year for for a hospital that is a private hospital is focusing on the uh, on the expansion suppose so how many patients they are expecting this year next year and third year fourth year and fifth year based on their ex, ex, uh, assumption but this assumption comes from the technical past information suppose audited financial statements last year budgeted statement and three year comparisons they have made already based on this information you will make your next five year 10 year 20 year budget now this is a very important point to understand the difference between a normal accountant and a finance manager or a person who is working in a finance is these topics budgeting how to develop the budget cash budget sales budget production budgets and uh, so many kinds of budgets we have uh, in in finance this this creates a difference between a normal debit credit accountant and a person who is looking the picture of the organization as whole and you are you know what, what production is going to bring 
what is the demand, what is the marketing strategy approach, what sales people are doing, how production people are, are doing, what raw material they have, and what HR department is supposed to do, are they going to hire more people, less people. This is all information being CMAs, you have to broaden your vision to see different aspects because you are working on behalf of management, you are a management accountant and you have to see the whole organization in a complete picture. How we bring it? Through budgets. Budgets are several types, sales budget, production budget, marketing budgets, cost of goods sold budget, fixed cost budget, variable cost budget, work in progress budget, so many technical budgets we can go cash inflow budget, outflow budget, fund flow budget, receipts in and outflow budgets and you can make several type of budget depends upon the type of organization you are working in. Suppose if it is a trading company, they don't need cost of goods sold budget because they are not manufacturing something. So you no don't need to apply but as a student, as a management expert, you should know all types of budgets. So wherever you go for your practical works, you can implement that time the based on the needs of the organization. Now budget is something which helps you to plan. It's a controlling tool because once you make the budget, suppose you budget next year sales $20 million. So actually you are monitoring every month what is the accumulated uh, monthly, you know, uh, in, in one unit of this uh, course, we will discuss the variance analysis. What is variance analysis? is you take your actual results, you compare with your budgeted or standard uh, results. So the difference gives you variance. Variance and the name is difference. So how it helps you to control, because you have already planned. It's like someone individual have, know that his salary is say $10,000 and his, these are the expenses so at the end of the month you compare how much salary you get and how much expenses you make if your salary was more and your expenses were less so you are happy because you are controlling your budgeting in your favor this is a favorable variance but if it is vice versa so it is adverse variance, means it is not favorable to you. So it should be an alarm for you to behave in a way that start thinking how to improve or how to control. So if you go, if you implement budgeting techniques in your organizations, you will, and you will monitor on weekly, bi-monthly or you can say monthly, quarterly, bi-yearly or yearly, so every time you will be a strong financial controller and whatever variances will be picked up, it will pick up the day when you start feeling a little ill, right? So you will try to find out the causes of the illness and you can remove it because you have time to respond, right? Those organizations who works on budgeting, forecasting, a standard actual budgeted they they can monitor their performance on monthly basis or weekly basis whatever they want to see it but those companies who don't uh, plot this kind of budgeting systems they come to, to know um, one day suddenly that uh, the company is losing sales or profitability because they are not monitoring since the first day